Lagos Island East Local Council Development Area empowers youth to be self-dependent through its vocational skills program. To set youth on a high pedestal to excel in life, the council authorities, led by Muibi Folawio, organized a six-month intensive training for youth within the area. Present at the graduation ceremony were traditional religious and political leaders, youths, the management team, and well-wishers. According to the council chairman, Mui Bifola Wiyo expressed readiness to give back to his community, hence the skills acquisition program. He added that the initiative would further spur the youth to be diligent in their activities. Obviously, vocational education has become an integral part of our society as it has been helping those who have graduated to earn a living and survive possible economic hardship in the country. This skill and force administration has moved many of us, or many of our wards, away from the streets, thereby creating a serene environment in our society. By keeping them busy, the environment has been peaceful because an idle hand is a devil workshop. I want to especially congratulate all graduates of this great centre. And I hope and pray that the different skills acquired will be used to enhance the growth of the local government and community and the country at large. The graduates were opportune to showcase some of the skills learned during the training. Best graduating students in different learning categories were rewarded with cash stipends, which would serve as a moral to the new intake. Beneficiaries are confident that the skills learned will help them to be a boss of their own. I'm very happy because within, within six months, I achieved a lot here. I'm from uh, the makeup department and at least within six months, I really achieved a lot. All thanks to Mr. Muibi. I came to this center to learn about computer training. So now I've achieved my goals and I know everything about computer. There's nothing I don't know about computer. Is it that typing, drawing, nothing? So I want to thank the Shama that gave us this opportunity. Okay, I'll tell the organizer of the event, I'll tell them a big thank you for this um, opportunity, yes. I'll tell them a big thank you. And I appreciate everything because some people don't have the privilege and, you know, it's free and everyone is happy to be here. The chairman enjoined the youth to make good use of the skills learned while he encouraged the youth to be great ambassadors of their community. We have been doing it, and I'm not, um, we cannot be 100%, but I believe with the numbers, we have a sizable number of people, of graduates that have excelled and that have been self-dependent of themselves. And so be it, by the grace of God, the new graduates, they will be self-dependent, and they will also join the employer of neighbors in the society by the grace of God. Now you have a, a skill that can feed you and your family for the rest of your life, so take heed to that. And my advice is also to also try to gain other skills. Any way you can uh, find other skills, maybe through this program or another, just try to gain skills. Because the future, like I said, is, is only in skills. My leaders have said it, Atawa and Nikhil We've given them what, what they can live on. No matter what, like we had a disabled graduate. He didn't think about his disability. He's doing his HND program. Is a is a is a tailor. We've given him equipment. We've made his future easy for him. So we expect most of them to utilize the opportunity they are given to. It is not everybody is allowed. It is not privileged to do it. They are lucky to be one of the privileged to go through this skill. There is clear indication that Mui Bifola with your led administration is leaving no stone unturned in Lagos Island East LCDA. Mm -hmm.